So word finally came out that there's going to be an actual Nintendo Switch Pro, and I'm very excited because I've been withholding information from you guys that I have heard of before this actually came out. So needless to say, I am very excited to make this video. So here is the initial news, and we'll get into that first, and then I will read you guys the other news, and which is the information that I've been withholding, and we'll see how the two compare and contrast and correlate. All right, so it says here, GameIndustry.biz spoke to Dr. Serkin Toto for Cantan Games. Dr. Serkin Toto says that there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that Nintendo will launch a Switch Pro in 2020, this year. My guess is at $399, which is $400, all right? So it later states that Toto believes that a Switch Pro will support 4K revolutions, come with larger cartridges, and uh, feature more powerful components. And he thinks that it'll launch just after the summer holidays, therefore beating the PlayStation 5, Xbox X, or Series X to its market. Um, all right. He had predicted that a Switch Lite and a Switch Pro would come out in 2019, so he was halfway correct with the Switch Lite. He thinks that there will be a Zelda game coming out on a mobile platform. It says here that no other analyst mentioned the Switch Pro and Nintendo has been quiet about any new versions of its console, so 2020 might not be the year we see a powerful machine, though Toto seems convinced. So. You have that, and now let me give you this information, and it is very well based and mixed in with Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. This was actually how we got this information in the first place, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Now, I'm not going to go into any details on the Nintendo Switch Pro and Breath of the Wild 2 in terms of what I think it should have. We're just going to read based off of these leaks. So 4chan user Zyl claimed to be in contact with an unnamed former Nintendo employee with insider knowledge of the company's future plans. They said Breath of the Wild 2's release will be pegged to the launch of the rumored Switch 2. Now, mind you, these are two different sources, which Zyl says will be exclusively for home gaming and will support 4K resolution. Now, um, Toto did not say anything about uh, only home support, but um, in this source, Zyle does say that the Nintendo Switch Pro will only be home support. And that kind of makes sense to an extent. Um, the Switch Lite was only portable, then you have a Nintendo Switch. So, I mean, I think it would pretty, be pretty cool if they have a platform in which it is only home support. I honestly think that they can make a portable and home console that is 4k but um i think they're holding that off until their actual next console and not their revamp of the nintendo switch and both sources claim that this will have 4k re revolution and i mean at this point i'm expecting nothing less as the rumored console will bring major improvements to computing and graphics which will be showcased through breath of the wild 2. Zio claims their source has seen a 10 minute gameplay demo of the upcoming title revealing crucial details about the shadowy follow up to one of the Switch's most popular games. And now these are Zio's words itself from the 4chan post that he tweeted out. A video demonstration was then shown with Zelda Breath of the Wild at 60 frames per second and 4K running on a Switch 2 prototype to members of the entire marketing department. Now, if what he's saying is true and um, it was a prototype, then I do not think that the, the Toto's analysis is correct in terms of the release date of the console coming out. It says, in addition, a short gameplay demo about 10 minutes of the new Zelda game, Zelda Breath of the Darkness, is also shown. A battle is then shown where Link and Zelda fight together against a dark guardian in underground ruins highlighting how Zelda helps Link by assisting him in the battle by protecting him with a dazzling light when he is in trouble, and highlighting the enemy's weaknesses. The game will be officially released along with the launch of the new Switch 2, and will be one of the first Nintendo games to exploit the potential of the new console. This says here, the leaker claims Breath of the Wild 2 will be a launch title for the Switch in January 2021. So... January of 2021, literally next year from now, as opposed to Toto's 2020. And this idea is more plausible um, 
I feel like if they were going to make a console, they want to perfect it to the fact that um, everything runs good, um, different games come on it, and I think that they sort of want us to forget about the Switch. So, um, because really, the Switch is kind of downhill in terms of the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. It's kind of forgotten once those two were brought up. Um, and so if they start off by making a new console, which has good specs, then the attention is going to be on Nintendo when they get their new console up. So not only do I think that it's not going to come out in 2020 because of the year, whatever Toto made his predictions based off of the year. But um, I think that Breath of the Wild 2 will be done by 2021. Metroid Prime 4 could also be a uh, title that is launched alongside this Switch Pro. And I keep looking at my Nintendo Switch because I'm just trying to visualize what this is. But um, why I believe it will be 2021 is because they need to make Breath of the Wild 2. And Breath of the Wild 2 is very... Or we know Breath of the Wild is expansive. So Breath of the Wild 2 needs to be a little more vast, you know. And it'll probably take time for them to perfect that. So that's why I believe that 2021. And here he gives actual specs which is odd because you're not supposed to have specs until the console is actually ready to be put out on um, marketing it says here the main takeaways here are 4k support double the internal storage than the original and four usb ports compared to one on the first switch this means nintendo games will look more realistic than ever and users can download even more software without worrying about deleting others perfect so it, it is Again, kind of weird that we already have this information, but I mean, if it is set for 2021, or here's my theory, that Toto predicted 2020 for a reason, and since he predicted it to be this year, I think the console is almost ready. They just need to get Breath of the Wild 2 out there, and then it'll be ready to be pushed, ready to launch alongside it. I think that they just need to announce it they're definitely gonna announce it this year and then they're gonna put it out next year so either way in a way toto will still be correct if this is all this is true uh, so the dimensions here is 121 millimeters by 202 millimeters by 50.6 millimeters so that's length width and height weight is 398 grams Connectors. Now, this is where it gets a little bit fishy. Two USB Type A ports, 3.0, two USB Type C ports, two HDMI ports, power supply socket, CPU slash GPU, NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA, Tegra, Xavier processor, custom system memory, 64 uh, gigabytes, solid state drive, so 64 gigs initially. Um, Connectivity, wireless, LAN, or Bluetooth 5.1. Uh, video output, standard 1920 by 1080 resolution, which is already higher than the Switch. And then full HD, which is 60 frames per second. And then a maximum, as opposed to standard, Ultra HD and 4K resolution. Sounds good. So you can already get, from the specs that I'm giving you, you can already picture in your mind what this new platform will look like, especially given the fact that it's home only, and we're not even done with the specs. Uh, audio output, linear, PCM, 5.1 stereo support, and 7.1 surround sound. Speakers are stereo, uh, USB ports, type A, 3.0, and type C. Audio socket, stereo output, game slot card, only for Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch 2 game cards. So. Both of these guys are saying that the Nintendo Switch 2 will also have a different kind of game card, but this one is saying that the Nintendo Switch game card will also fit in there, so I'm not too sure about Toto's larger game card, or if there's like going to be a different socket where you can put a Switch game card and a Switch Pro. I, I don't know. This, to me, just looks like a giant box, you know? <laughs> Imagine the Switch without the Joy-Cons, and then you're docking it. That's literally what I'm visualizing. Or power supply AC 100 to 240V 50 slash 60 hertz. All right, and then it ends off with if these leaks hold any weight, Nintendo could be looking to meet the PS5 and Xbox Series X 
head-on with its own home console. Sony and Microsoft's next-gen consoles are expected to hit shelves late in 2020, so the Switch 2 could arrive a month or two later. That means Nintendo fans could soon be playing iconic games like Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild or Darkness and Super Mario Odyssey at crisp 4K resolution. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And um, my next video will most likely be what I want for the Switch Pro, or not even the Switch Pro, like the next Switch console, next generation. And what I want out of Breath of the Wild too. So if you're looking forward to hearing that, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.